Good day and welcome everyone to our news today. Harry, thirty-seven, and his wife Meghan Markle, forty, made the on-stage appearance at the Global Citizen Life Festival on Saturday during their three-day tour of New York City. Body language expert Judy James told the Mail Online. Prince Harry was trying to rev the crowd with some warm-up man-style gestures, like cupping his ear to pretend he couldn't hear their agreements and yelling out "New York City" like a bit of a rock star. The couple were warmly received during their appearance at the concert in New York's Central Park. Attendees, which the Duke suggested topped sixty thousand, cheered Harry and Meghan as they called on people to do what is necessary to end the pandemic. While Miss James claimed the seventy-year-old had behaved like a rock star, she also suggested the Duchess played the lead role. In performance terms, it was Harry who seemed to recognize his wife as lead star, gazing at her with eyes slightly narrowed to show pride, but also performing some anxiety rituals like clothing and figure fiddling as he watched her more powerful speech. She said. The body language expert went on to claim, after their more corporate-looking appearances so far in New York, this on-stage body language saw Harry and Meghan revert to their more familiar-looking PDAs and signals of affection. Although these romantic rituals were driven more by the demanding crowd than instigated by the couple themselves. But once Harry had used the "my wife and I" line and thrown the first loving gaze in Meghan's direction, it was clear from the cheers and screams of approval from the crowd that they wanted more of the couple's romantic backstory. The Global Citizen Twenty Fourth Live Festival was rounded out by guest musicians, including. Coldplay and American singer Billie Eilish. Eilish, just nineteen, recently sang the theme song for the upcoming James Bond film No Time to Die. During their three-day tour of New York, Harry and Meghan made their first public appearance since the birth of their second child in June. Later on in their trip, the Sussexes held a meeting with the United Nations Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohammed. The pair were also spotted enjoying a night out as they let their hair down in the Big Apple. And that brings us to the end of the news today. Hope you enjoy it. Please click the like and subscribe to our news channel for more. Thanks for listening and stay safe, everyone. Have a nice day.